Hey guys, so another eat with me. Why wouldn't I just film myself every time I ate? Um, today we're gonna be eating some PQ. I have never heard of this place. Who wants to eat with me? I got tenders because whenever I go to a chicken place, you just gotta have the tenders, like the book. If the tenders aren't good, the restaurant isn't good, throw it away. If you can't bring your kids to go eat chicken tenders at a restaurant, throw the restaurant away. I'm sorry to vegans. I respect you. And I love vegan options too. The watermelon moment was all right. I really just made that video because I was really anxious. I just wanted to put out content. It was a nice you know, step forward for me. But anyways, this is what the box looks like. It says, time to get saucy. I got the four crispy tenders, but you have the kid tenders all the way to the 12 nuggets. So we have options here. Box says, enjoy tasty perks all year long. People dedicated to quality. I, I really appreciate it. It's better than Chick-fil-A. This was actually recommended by one of my roommates. Wow, so that looks really good. Here are the nugs. Buffalo blue sauce, which I'm guessing is just like buffalo sauce. I don't know. And then I got the honey barbecue because honey barbecue is like literally everything to me. But these little guys right here. I got a side of corn. You could get waffle fries, but I honestly, I try to stay away from the carbs. I actually wish that I could just eat whatever all the time, but unfortunately I'm not one of those people. And that's straight up okay. I love myself. Honestly, the chicken tenders look so good. I'm saving them for last, so. Mmm. So like, it's got some um like a hard cheese like kind of like like the you know the hard cheese that like they serve like in restaurants and it's like salty and it's got like lime and like bits of like onion but I'm not really a fan of onion so I'm just gonna put on those. Mm. I cook with onions, but honestly onions just smell like armpit to me so I really just have to sneak it into my food. Enough of that. Let's get to the fucking nee a gourd a. What it looks like. Alrighty, we're trying the barbecue first. Mmm. 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 No, that's good. Okay, now we're trying sriracha next. Mmm. Mmm. No. I forgot this isn't sriracha. The buffalo blue fucking smacks. I'm so glad I got it. It was either this or the sriracha, and I really wasn't sure because I don't eat sriracha. But no, this smacks ass. Like fat ass. Mmm. <laughs> mmm, that was good. Yeah, so people are starting school. Like, back up, like right around now. I honestly think we should have stayed closed. The cases <laughs> are getting higher. It's just very funny to me. Certain groups of people get demonized for like spreading the virus, but then other groups of people, our government telling us to go to school aren't demonized for making us hound up anyways. We have to remember that schools are trying to force people all into the same space anyways. Can we blame the teenagers for what they're doing? Can you really blame Gen Z for anything? Like, yeah, they don't have like souls, most of them, and like they're dead inside, most of them. They don't give a fuck. And they're ready to like give it all up. And like, honestly, like, Let's go, like I'm all for it. I am technically a part of Gen Z, but Gen Z doesn't even like to like consider the people before like 2000 generation Z. But no, 1995 to 2000 year Gen Z too. We are a part of that subsect that people talk so much shit about. If anything, I feel like my little zillennial generation kind of fucked over Gen Z. Cause we have bitches like Jake Paul and like Santa Mojo, Nikita Dragon, all them, talk to, talk to people. They really like, instead of wanting to be, I guess a role model, they decided that they don't care. And I'm not saying that you have to be a role model when you become famous. I mean, I'm goals for myself. I don't give a fuck really about what other people feel, but my behavior I know is being watched, unfortunately, whether I like it or not. So I'm trying my best not to be an asshole. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I got the lemonade. It's actually really good. It's cool. Honestly, better than Chick-fil-A. And I appreciate this because 
Chick-fil-A does not like the LGBTQ community. It's 2020. The LGBTQ community needs to be loved and nurtured. Because it's so fucking large. I would say that there are more gay people than there are not. There are more people with queer tendencies than there are people with zero queer tendencies. I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't know who decided all of these rules needed to exist when it came to behavior and sexuality. I don't know who did that. Uh, well, I'm not here for it. Hell no. No, sir. Not me. No. Okay, I'm actually starting to get full, and I'm not going to stuff myself because stuffing myself is not good. In America, we are given really big portions. Do not feel like you need to finish all of that, bro. I'm not saying feel bad if you can finish it, but like if you can't, don't force yourself. Like I used to have this problem where I had to finish everything that was on my plate and it it just wasn't healthy for me. So getting guilt for not finishing like a whole thing of fries. Don't feel bad. Keep in mind that when ordering with friends and stuff, you should actually try sharing fries. <laughs> I find it's less money. Somebody's saving money. It's enough to fill you up. It's not enough to make you sick. <clears throat> Sorry, the camera just cut off, but that burp, right? Pretty magical. But anyway, yeah, don't look to me as like a health advice person. I'm just someone who likes to eat food. I like looking at myself eat. I like knowing people like looking at me eat. I don't know what I, I don't know. I just know that I like to talk, eat, whatever the fuck I want. I don't want to just be known as that person that just eats like fried food. Honestly, it's my channel and I'm not just posting eating videos. I'm posting whatever the fuck I want. Eating videos are just where I can sit down and like talk to people off the bat, no themes, you know? Would you guys be down for like a little bit of ASMR? I do have like a little microphone here. Any and all feedback, I will take. I really do give a fuck about feedback. I used to live stream a lot back when I was in college. Live streams here and there. But I did make a good following for myself, you know? I really just want to rekindle that relationship I had with, like, the people who, like, you know, fucked with me. Mmm. 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 PDQ? I fuck with Mmm. PDQ. People dedicated to quality. That's the name of the restaurant. What a wonderful way to fucking end that. If the chicken strips were spicier, I probably would have liked it more. But the buffalo sauce and the barbecue sauce fucking slap, so there's that. The corn's really good too. Maybe next time I won't do the onions. I'm probably gonna put this corn away. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please leave some suggestions of what you want to see me eat. Pointers, you know. Do you want me closer to the camera? Do you want to see the food more? Do I need to change my setup a little bit more? Because I wanted to do it casually, but I know how move bombers can get, and they can get real, like, professional with it. So please let me know. Leave some, some costume ideas, some looks, some foods for me to eat. Anything, anything at all. Thank you so much for watching, and yeah.